14 billion years ago, in a great flash, the universe flared forth into being. In each drop of the universe, a primordial energy burned, never to be equaled again. An originating power brought forth our universe. All the energy of the universe erupted as a single quantum, a single gift, existence. If in the future stars would blaze and lizards would blink in their light, this too would be powered by the same numinous energy flaring forth at the dawn of time. There was no place in the universe separate from the originating power. Everything had its beginning in this realm. Space-time itself was a tossing, churning, foaming out of the originating reality, instant by instant. Each of the sextillion particles that foamed into existence had its roots in this all-nourishing abyss. Space too unfurled in the beginning. Space foamed forth to create the vast, billowing event of an expanding universe. The rate of this spatial emergence reveals a primordial elegance at the beginning of time. Had space unfurled in a more retarded fashion, the universe would have quickly collapsed back into quantum foam. Had space emerged more rapidly, the universe would have become dust. The original body of the universe maintained itself in a delicate balance so that its hidden beauty might come forth. Our bodies and their sensitivities are home here. This world comes from an event beyond anything that has happened in two million years of human existence. In the primordial fire, the Himalayan mountains would vanish like a child sandcastle crushed by a tsunami wave. At the base of time is a trillion degree blast and all that exists traces back to this ungraspable seed event. Creativity with the power to fling a trillion galaxies through vast chasms of space on a 14 billion year ride. The oceans will be our guide as we journey into the future. The ocean is a power that can dissolve things into itself. Even the hardest rocks, given enough time, will become one with the ocean's waves. With our symbolic consciousness, we are very much like the ocean with its power to pour through boundaries. What we long for is profound intimacy of relationship. Our human imagination brought something radically new to Earth's life. The capacity to experience the world from another's perspective. We call this empathy. What does this mean? In the mammalian world, a mother bear has the capacity to identify with her young cubs and thus devote herself to their well-being. With the emergence of humans, we have arrived at an evolutionary breakthrough for being able to develop compassion, not just for our offspring, 
but for all beings of every order of existence. With this alone, Earth gave rise to the possibility of an empathetic being who could flow into and become one with the intimate feelings of any being. Our human destiny is to become the heart of the universe that embraces the whole of the Earth community. We are just a speck in the universe, but we are beings with the capacity to feel comprehensive compassion in the midst of an ocean of intimacy. That is the direction of our becoming more fully human. Along with the stars and the oceans, we can consider what we make with our hands as a way to reflect on human destiny. Our urge to make things, to create things, is certainly as deep as the urge of the sun to shine and the earth to spin. Our destiny is woven into the mystery of creativity and time. We are in the midst of vast destruction, but it is simultaneously a moment of profound creativity. We are involved with building a new era of Earth's life. Our human role is to deepen our consciousness in resonance with the dynamics of the 14 billion year creative event in which we find ourselves. Our challenge now is to construct livable cities and to cultivate healthy foods in ways congruent with Earth's patterns. Our role is to provide the hands and hearts that will enable the universe's energies to come forth in a new order of well-being. Our destiny is to bring forth a planetary civilization that is both culturally diverse and locally vibrant, a multi-form civilization that will enable life and humanity to flourish. Because we know that life is an adventure involving both chaos and order, we sometimes want desperately to control things. And whenever our fear grows too strong, we become vulnerable to simplistic promises concerning the future. But no one knows what the future holds. All of that is hidden in the darkest night. The future is being created by all of us, and it is a messy and confusing process. What is needed is courage to live in the midst of the ambiguities of this moment without drawing back into fear and a compulsion to control. It is in the nature of the universe to move forward between great tensions, between dynamic opposing forces. If the creative energies in the heart of the universe succeeded so brilliantly in the past. We have reason to hope that such creativity will inspire us and guide us into the future. In this way, our own generativity becomes woven into the vibrant communities that constitute the vast symphony of the universe.